Hi friends, in this video let us understand the difference between neurons and glial cells. Neurons are the basic functional unit of nervous system responsible for transmitting electrical impulses throughout the body. So this is the neuron and this is the individual neuron that is made up of cell body, dendrites and axon. Whereas glial cells are non-neural cells that supports neuron like microglial cells, astrocytes, ependymal cells, oligodendrocytes, all non-neuronal cells are called glial cells. There is no action potential but there is resting potential and there is no chemical synapse in the case of glial cell. Second difference is regarding the function. Neurons are responsible for transmission of electrical impulse or nerve impulses between central nerve system and different parts of the body. So this is a neuron. From the cell body, electrical impulses reaches this axon terminal of the presynaptic neuron. And this axon terminal, once the electrical impulses reaches here, there will be a voltage difference. As a result, voltage gated channels that is located at the terminal region opens. Then calcium enters into this axon terminal. This axon terminal has vesicles with neurotransmitters. Upon calcium entry, these neurotransmitters are released into the synaptic cleft and these neurotransmitters diffuses and binds to the receptor that is ligand-gated receptor that is often present at the postsynaptic neuron. This channel opens, thus transmits the impulse and the effect may be inhibitory or excitatory depending on the type of neurotransmitter. In the case of glial cells, recent studies suggest that glial cells have many important functions rather than just supporting neuron. It supports neurons and also provides nutrients. It is involved in positioning of neurons, regulates the activity by controlling neurotransmitter release, controlling the oxygen level, ionic level and pH levels. It removes waste products and protects neurons from damage. So, glial cells are essential for normal and proper functioning of neuron. Difference number three regarding the number of glial cells and neurons. As per the recent reports, the total average number of neurons in a whole brain, human brain, is 86.1 billion neurons. Whereas in the case of glial cells, it is around 84.6 billion glial cells. Previously, it was thought that there is 10 times more glial cells than neurons. But recent studies suggest that the ratio of glial cells to neuron is 0.99, that is close to 1. The next difference is regarding the capacity of division. Neurons cannot divide once differentiated. It lacks centrioles. Mature neurons lack centrioles. As you see, this is a neuron. So, this is a cell body. This is an axon that ends in axon terminal, this is the dendrite. So this is continuously connected. There is continuous nerve impulse transmission. So actually there is no space for division. Once differentiated, neurons cannot divide. But glial cells can divide by mitosis even after differentiation. Next difference is regarding the structure of neurons and glial cells. All neurons have three different parts. First one is the cell body with nucleus and all other organelles like Golgi apparatus, mitochondrion, etc. Then this is the dendrites that receives the signals. Then this axon that sends the signals to the next neuron or transmits the signal to the next neuron. So there are glial cells like Schwann cells that protects this axon and also helps in transfer of nerve impulse. Whereas there are different types of glial cells like astrocytes, oligodendrocytes, microglial cells, etc. All are having a fibrous appearance due to thick bundles of cytoplasmic strands. And the final difference is regarding the types of neurons and glial cells. Neurons are divided into four basic types based on the structure. Unipolar neuron, multipolar neuron, bipolar neuron and pseudo unipolar neuron. Unipolar means it is having a single process or single extension that is emerging from the cell mass or cell body. So it is having a single process or single extension emerging from the cell body, therefore called as unipolar, whereas bipolar from either sides of the cell body, an extension is that ends in either axons, oxon or dendrites. Whereas multipolar neuron has 
many dendrites many extensions many dendrites and often with a single axon that can receive multiple signals most common neuron in humans is the multipolar neuron and finally glial cells there are different types of glial cells like astrocytes ependymal cells oligodendrocytes microglial cells satellite cells and schwann cells let us see the function of each type of the cells in the central nerve system there are astrocytes ependymal cells oligodendrocytes and microglial cells astrocytes they are so called because of the star shaped structure it maintains blood brain barrier controlling the levels of neurotransmitter around synapses regulates ionic level and also provide metabolic support ependymal cells often lines the spinal cord and ventricles of the brain it is involved in producing cerebrospinal fluid whereas oligodendrocytes it myelinate central nervous system axons provide the structural framework whereas microglial cells are the brain's immune cells it removes dead cells and pathogens by phagocytosis just like phagocytes like macrophages in the immune system whereas peripheral nervous system has two types of glial cells satellite cells and schwann cells satellite cells are in that surrounds neuron cell bodies in ganglia it regulates neurotransmitter levels whereas schwann cells myelinate neurons in peripheral nervous system involved in maintenance and regeneration of neurons upon injury so these are the major functions of different types of glial cells so these are the major differences between neurons and glial cells hope you are clear take care stay blessed thank you so much you are with biologyexamsforyou.com